Ladies and gentlemen, dumbass and caballeros, the American dream used to be all about getting the house with the white picket fence and the two and a half kids. However, that's what the American dream used to be. More recently, the American dream has changed for younger generations. The new American dream is about getting the American paying remote job and then getting the hell out of America. In this last decade or so, we've seen so many younger people as well as older people, not just Americans, but people from rich developed countries move to cheaper developing countries. This past decade, we have seen the rise of the digital nomad in multiple countries offering digital nomad visas. And why is this? Why are so many young people leaving rich countries? Well, as someone who has traveled to almost 40 countries around the world and has lived abroad for over two years, I think I can speak a lot on this topic. And so in this video, I wanna dive into this trend of the new American dream and talk about why young people are leaving rich countries, the reality of the new American dream and the consequences to the host country. And so let's start off by talking about why young people are leaving rich countries. So as I just said, in the developed world, we've been seeing this trend of people leaving their rich developed countries and moving to cheaper developing countries. And when you think about it, it's kind of strange. However, I think that there are three logical reasons to this. And the first reason is the developed world is no longer affordable. So if you are watching this video and you are living in a rich developed country, you know that we are in a cost of living crisis. We're living in this moment of time where everything is becoming increasingly unaffordable. I mean, rent, groceries, and cars are all increasingly unaffordable. The developed world is nice and luxurious, but most people can't afford to live in it. Most people can't afford a good quality of life here and are choosing to move abroad because their money will go a lot further. I mean, in America, a salary of $40,000 a year doesn't go far, but in Costa Rica, a salary of $40,000 goes so far to the point where you're rich. People are leaving rich developed countries because the developed world isn't affordable. And people are thinking, I can't afford the American dream here in America, but I can afford it in another country. The dollar and many other Western currencies go extremely far in other countries. And many people are thinking that their only option for a better life, ironically, is leaving the developed world. Now, the second reason is the developed world is too stressful. Now, another problem that is going on in the developed world is that our way of life has gotten extremely stressful because, as I said, life has become increasingly unaffordable. And because of that, we work extremely hard. Life is busier than ever, and life feels like a grind. The average American is very stressed out and people are looking at these more developing countries where life is slower, more simple, and more laid back and find it appealing. And not only are you living a less stressful life, but as I said, you're rich. People are leaving rich countries because the developed world and the developed lifestyle is extremely stressful and people just want to live more simple, slow lives with less stress. Now, before I move on to the final reason, I just want to take a quick moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Aura. So whether you choose to pursue this new American dream or the old American dream, one thing that everyone should do is take steps to protect yourself in this digital world because the odds of falling victim to an online crime are one out of four. And that's because data brokers will collect your information like your name, phone number, and family members and sell it to various people who might want to target you, who then use that information to access your social media, bank accounts, and other sensitive information. 
But luckily, data brokers are required by law to remove your name from these lists when requested. However, they make it very hard to do, which is why you should let Aura handle it for you. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. I have been using Aura for the past five months, and Aura has found and removed my name from 15 lists with nine in progress. But that is not all Aura does to protect your privacy. Aura is an all-in-one tool that monitors your credit score, gives you antivirus protection, a VPN to browse internet securely, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more, all for one affordable price which can help give you your privacy back in this modern world. And if you're like me and you find it important to protect your privacy, click on the link in my description or go to aura.com slash Austin Williams to get a free two week trial to test out this amazing tool. And in 2024, it is crucial to protect your privacy. So let Aura do all the hard work for you. And thank you Aura for sponsoring this video. Now the final reason is that it's never been easier to live abroad. We're living in a moment in time where it has never been easier in the history of the world to move abroad. I mean, there are so many remote jobs that allow you to work from anywhere. The price of a plane ticket has never been lower, and more and more countries are offering digital nomad visas. If you have a remote job and want to live abroad, all you have to do is sell your crap and buy a plane ticket. It has never been easier to move abroad, and so many people are embracing this and choosing to move around more. And those are the three reasons why young people, and just people in general, are choosing to leave their rich developed countries. And so now let's talk about the reality of the new American dream. So now that we've spoken about these three reasons why people are leaving their rich countries, it begs the question, does this new American dream work? What is the reality of pursuing the new American dream? Well, as someone who has lived abroad for two years and has traveled all around the world, I believe that I know the reality of this lifestyle, and I think that there are two sides to it. The first side is the euphoric cultural experience where money is no object. Now, when you pursue the new American dream, at least in the beginning, you are met with this sense of euphoria, where money is no object, and you can afford a beautiful apartment that overlooks the ocean and eat out every single day. You don't have to think about money as much because prices are much cheaper than here in America, and that brings a lot of peace into people's lives. But it's not only the finances that make it this incredible experience, but you're also in this new culture where everything is different and every day you're waking up seeing and having completely new experiences. Traveling and being abroad is honestly like a drug and once you have a hit of it, you become an addict. When you realize how far your money goes and how enriching an experience it is, you ask yourself, why didn't I leave America sooner? This new American dream is this euphoric cultural experience where money is no object and people are embracing this lifestyle. However, there is a flip side to it. And I think it's something that everyone eventually comes to realize when they pursue this lifestyle. And it's the lonely, isolated lifestyle of never fitting in. So up to this point, we have only spoken about the positive aspects of this new American dream. And when you hear about these positive aspects, it's hard to imagine that there's anything negative to this lifestyle. But I think that people who pursue this new American dream ultimately come to the realization that it is a hard lifestyle where you often feel lonely. You struggle with always feeling like an outsider and cultural differences are challenging. I mean, I lived abroad for two years, and I can say from experience that it is extremely hard to live abroad. You never understand what is going on, and you will never fit in as an outsider. 
It's exhausting. And I think that many people who pursue this digital nomad lifestyle eventually come to the realization that working on your laptop at the beach in a different country comes with its own set of challenges. And although we have seen this trend of people leaving their rich developed countries, I think that ultimately most people decide to move back. Because I think that ultimately people are happier in their own countries because when you're in your own country, you understand what is going on and you fit in. And it's hard to understand that fact unless you have lived it. But I think that many people who pursue this new American dream ultimately come to the realization that there are many challenges to this lifestyle and financial benefits aren't everything and ultimately decide to return to their home country. Now, finally, I wanna talk about an aspect of this trend that many people don't consider, and it's the consequences to the host country. So when people talk about this new American dream, it often comes from a very ecocentric point of view of how it benefits and impacts you as an individual. However, we often don't consider how it impacts the host country. Because this trend of the new American dream often impacts the host country in many negative ways. And I wanna talk about two ways. The first way is gentrification. So as I said earlier, a salary of $40,000 in the United States doesn't go far, but in another country, you're considered rich. Your money can go so far that it can create problems in the host country. Like in Mexico City, neighborhoods have been overrun by foreigners that have been completely gentrified to the point where locals can't afford to live in it anymore. When we take our high American salaries to other countries, it can often displace local people in their own country because they're unable to keep up with our cost of living. Now, the second way is cultural intolerance. As I mentioned earlier, living abroad comes with its own set of challenges where you feel like an outsider and don't understand the culture. And because we have more money, we can get this sense of entitlement that the culture needs to change for us. For example, an American couple living in Mexico wanted to close down a restaurant because they were playing loud mariachi music. When we move abroad, we can sometimes get this sense of entitlement that because we are rich American bringing economic means to other countries, the cultures need to change for us. And pursuing this new American dream can often cause problems to other countries around the world. But with all that to say, the new American dream is about getting a high paying remote job and moving to a cheaper country. And the reasons for this are very clear and it comes with pros and cons for both the individual and the host country. And so my question for you is, is this new American dream worth pursuing? And is it sustainable for both the individual and for countries around the world? Let me know in the comments, but with that, muchas gracias, que tengo un buen día, nos vemos chicos.